What is happening guys, it's Alan here from the Dangleberries and today I have a brand new video for you where I look at some of the best tips and tricks for this new rework of Oregon. Now I hope all of you are doing your best to stay safe and stay home with this virus going around and I hope all of your family stay safe and healthy during this difficult time. Now I will do my best to put out more content for you guys so you're not sitting around at home wondering when Alan's going to upload another video which I know takes me a very long time but I will do my best for you guys. So without me talking anymore, let's dive in and check out these tips and tricks. So for this first trick guys, now this is located in the street spawn just where the security van is underneath the shed roof. Now this is more an advanced trick to use but once you're up there you can have a lot of fun with it. So the basics for getting into this spot guys, basically the small little fence that's sticking up out of the ground right in front of the truck. You can actually vault onto that but once you vault it you need to immediately turn to your left and keep running towards it the hood of the security truck. Now once you're up on top of the hood of the security truck, you need to run towards the windscreen and you'll be pushed up on top of the roof of the truck. Once you've gotten up there, you just need to immediately turn to your right and you'll get a vault prompt up on top of the shed roof. Now you can stay up there and get some angles on the main door and of course the doorway coming out onto the balcony from master or you can also go onto the wall and run across the barbed wire and you can see all the way into the master bedroom, especially if you get that closet wall open, you'll be able to watch all the way into the objective upstairs. So for this next trick guys, this is a really easy spawn peek counter that you can catch anyone who's trying to run out of the main door at the very beginning of the round or just peeking from the door in general. Now when you spawn in, you can actually vault onto the side of the police barrier and then immediately vault onto the hood and then the roof of the security truck. Now it's really quick if you get used to it and you can easily catch someone off guard who's trying to make that quick spawn peek out the main door. For this next trick guys, this one takes us up into the kids dorm on the top floor of the map. Now what you need to do here is opening the wall at a 90 degree angle with a shotgun and leaving that small section of wall like I've shown you in previous videos, you can vault onto that little wall and then up on top of the bunk beds inside the room. Now this will provide the element of surprise as enemies will not expect you to be sitting up there and you can get some really nice angles protecting the site. So on to the next trick guys, and this is a C4 plus Valkyrie cam combo, and it's such an amazing C4 spot. If you set it up correctly, you can get an easy kill, which is a very high traffic area of people coming in from master and coming up the main stairs onto the objective. Now what you need to do here is by opening the small piece of the wall above the main wall, you can stand on the ledge inside on that bridge and throw a C4 over the top of that wall outside of master door. And by placing a cam on the light just inside the doorway in that little lounge area, you'll be able to watch for anyone who comes in off that master door and then get that C4 kill. Now I've marked exactly where to aim for the C4 throw over that little bit of the wall. So 
So moving on to the next one, and we have a Valkyrie cam slash rotation for you to use here from the kids dorms down into the hallway by kitchen. Now what you need to do here is down in the kitchen, you can place a Valkram on the small lamp on top of the fridge by the doorway into the hall. Now by prepping the window in that hallway and then going up into the dorms room, you can watch that Valkyrie cam for any enemies pushing into the side of that map and you can jump out that window and jump in and get that easy pick in the round. I just want to give a shout out to Hologram Sam who showed this in one of his recent videos. I will leave a link to his channel in the description. Moving on to the next tricks guys and we have three evil eye locations to show you here on the third level of the map for holding the objective. So moving down into the supply room objective on the basement level of the map now this is very similar to the one that i showed you in dorms early on in the video all you need to do again is make that 90 degree hole in the wall leaving that small section of wall behind and by vaulting up on that you can get up onto the center shelves inside the room and watch the whole site and again provide that element surprise towards the enemy Onto the next trick guys and we have a Valkyrie cam location for you down inside the construction entrance on the basement level of the map. Now all you got to do is by placing the Valkyrie in between the pipes on the ceiling you'll be able to watch that whole entrance especially when it's a high traffic area people trying to push in and get that wall open down to the left in towards the objective. Now if you would like to see a dedicated video for Valkyrie cams on Oregon if this video gets a thousand likes I will bring that video to you on Saturday. So for the last trick today guys this is a really basic hiding spot that is located down in the dining room on the first floor now all you got to do is by breaking the chair you can actually crawl in underneath the table and by getting yourself in the correct position you'll be almost invisible for anyone who's pushing in from that side of the map. that is it for the video today guys i really do hope you enjoyed it now if you do want to see a dedicated valkyrie cam video or just some basic tips and tricks for oregon let me know down in the comment section and i will do my best to bring that to you now if you have a tip or trick that you would like to have featured in one of my future videos you can join up on my discord and post the tips or tricks in there and i will do my best to put them in one of my next videos for you now as some of you may already know i stream over on twitch pretty much every single day and i'm so close to 10,000 followers so if you go over there and drop a follow that will help me out so much and come in and say hello as well and of course don't forget that there is one day left on this giveaway and i will be doing future giveaways after this one as well as we are so close to hitting 200,000 subscribers 
So if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload my next video. And as always, yeah.